Hey guys, on a scale from one to 10, from one to 10, one being, you know, something that you could not care less about and 10, something that is like the most important thing next to oxygen in your life. How would you rate the importance of customer service for your success? Five, seven, eight, 10? Well, in reality, I believe that if you're working in the software development industry, and if you've been doing this like I've done for the past 11 years, you'll know that one thing is for, is for sure. Everybody on this freaking planet that is developing software, I don't care how smart that team is, those guys are, that software is gonna have some problems. Okay, it's just the way it is. There's bugs in it, right? There's issues. So if that's true, if no matter how great your team is and the software methodologies and the project management and everything, no matter how those things, as important as they are, if that doesn't matter because there will be some problems, then what matters? I believe that what really matters is how will you handle your customers? Hey, even if it, everything works great, like the dream scenario that, by the way, we, that we already know that it doesn't happen this way, but just for the sake of this argument, let's just imagine. You've developed the perfect piece of software. Now, wouldn't you agree that if you don't know how to present that software and really communicate to your customer the benefits that they will enjoy once they start using the, the product, or even, do they even know how to use the product? Because Listen, again, it's the perfect product, right? But if they don't know how to use it, they will say, hey, this sucks. This sucks. And might, they might prefer some kind of product that is less sophisticated than yours. But hey, they know how to use it. And guess why they know how to use it? Because someone took care of that customer. Someone said, hey, sir, as we agreed, we've developed this beautiful piece of software that does just the things that you wish, right? Let, let's just recap what those are. Hey, this software does this, 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 and that. And you know what? The amazing thing is that once, you work, once you're able to do this, all these things that you asked for, now you'll be able to do this, 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 and that. That you couldn't do, that you could not do before. Like, you can, you, you can now save time. You can be more productive. You can save money. You can earn more money. Whatever the deal is, right? You need to take care of that customer. And for me, that's customer service. That's what it is, you know? Fancy word just to say, hey, handle your customers. Now, there's one particular area of software development that I'm really interested in, and that is the quality assurance area, right? So there's plenty of interactions with your customers, and most of them suck because why? They're painful because your customer are, are tell, uh, you know, are, are reaching out to you and say, "Hey, guys, this is not working as expected." So they are kind of frustrated, really, really. And the way that you are able or not able to handle them when those situations, tough situations, come, and they will come. The ability that you'll have at that specific moment in time, not you know days, you know, in the past or in the future, that moment will define the way that your customer will look at you for the rest of your life. Or, I'm exaggerating, right? But you will have a hard time. If you fail in that specific moment, that key moment, you will have a hard time gaining back that trust. Would you agree? Because this might have, might have already happened to you, right? You fail in this specific moment. You know, the, the, the guy was upset, you know, leaving. Oh my God, I cannot believe that these guys have done this, blah, blah, blah. They just left the room, right? They left the call. They sent a, you know, a angry email like, oh my God, guys, I'm really disappointed. I will never work with you again. Then you will have to invest like months or maybe years and tons of money to reclaim that trust back, just to get at the same level that you were in. So here's the thing, man. We need to get this training in. And by training, I mean getting your people trained on the ways on every way possible that they can interact with your customers. Would you agree that this is super important? From the, On a scale from one to 10, one being absolutely worthless, 10 being close to oxygen in your level of, I really need this. Would you rate this a 10, five or seven? Let me know in the comments below because I would rate it as an 11. 
every interaction that you have with your customers will influence their perception of value about you. It will influence the expectations that they have about you and also the way that you handle their visibility about what's working, what's not working, what are you doing, what, you're, what aren't you doing. All of those th three things are really the core things that they will play in their minds about, hey, is this guy worth a million dollars or one dollar, right? And I mean, by this guy, I mean this guy, this company, this product, wherever the deal is, so I'm here to give you just, you know, a couple of ideas or strategies, really, not ideas. You're, 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 we all know that ideas are worthless, right? Execution is the key. So let me show you how you can execute an outstanding level of customer service, starting with picking up the phone when the customer calls you. Hey, something, let's go to the basics, folks, okay? This video is about giving you the first step. Do you know how to handle the phone when someone rings your phone? No, and that someone is your customer, what will you say? You may be laughing right now at me. <laughs> this guy is now teaching me how to pick up the phone. Hey man, maybe you don't know how to pick the phone. You know, even though you've been picking up the phone for years now, it doesn't make you an expert. So listen, yeah man, let, let's go for a specific example instead of just talking some generic thing. You are the quality assurance leader, okay? And the quality assurance leader of your customer calls you. you pick up the phone what will you say hey John how are you doing they say hey fine man how are you doing hey I'm great listen how can I help you today is there anything I can do simple thing okay focus on helping how can you be of service hey sir how can I help you now let's say that they follow up and say hey man this 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 and that and the other thing are not working it's not working man Get your game right. John, let, let me see if I heard you correctly. So you're saying that A, B, and C are not working as expected, is that it? Yeah, Bruno, that's it, man. Like A, B, and C is completely down, off, shut down. Come on, man. Get that thing working right now ASAP. Okay, John, sir, uh, here's what I will do. I will have my team analyze what's happening all right, we were, going, we were going to analyze, troubleshoot this, and then I will provide you some feedback. In worst case, since this is so critical for you, in worst case, we're going to call you back at the end of the day. Uh, I mean, close of business. Uh, is this acceptable? Is this fair? You will say, no, man, absolutely not. I want to hear from you in one hour. Okay, John, listen, I will do my best. Let's meet in, in one hour. Is there anything I can do for you besides A, B, and C? No, man, just focus on A, B, and C. I call you in one hour. No, sir, I will call you. Just, uh, just give me one hour and I will see what I can do. Thank you so much. Let's stay in touch. Boom. You, you end the call there. You go to the technical team and say, okay, guys, let's see what's happening. In, you know, John is saying, hey, B, and C is not working. How can, how can we help him? Then they'll start analyzing, let's see it for the worst case scenario that after one hour you don't know what the hell is wrong. You pick up the phone before that one hour runs off, okay? Like 10 minutes before the one hour is off. And then you say, hey John, this is Bruno here. So the team is still working on figuring out the issue. So we still not know what's happening. Here's what we do know. We do understand that the system A, B and Z uh, or system one, two, three is not involved, so we can rule those out, all right? And we're still working on figuring out system five, six, and seven. Okay, just give me one more hour so we can figure out what's happening, man, because, it, you know, it, it must be on six and seven because that's all we have right now at the moment, active, right? So give me just one hour, is that fair enough? Can I call you back in one hour? Come on, man, you're killing me now, you know. A, B, and C is not working, sir, I totally understand that, and I can feel your pain, trust me. If this could be solved right now, we already solved it. But it's impossible right now. Just give me just one more hour so I can see what we can do. Is that fair? Can I call you back in one hour? All right, let's stay in touch, boom. You go back to the team, hey, man, let, hey, how can I help? Is there anything that we can do to test this thing, troubleshoot this thing? And then let's see, hey, the guys are uh, already have uh, a root cause. Okay, you immediately pick up the phone, hey John, listen, I just want you to know that we've already figured out the root cause, okay, what the root cause is, system, 
uh, 5 is having some trouble, some issues, and we are working now on the correction, on getting this fixed. We are going to publish a patch, a software patch to solve this. Uh, now, I still don't know, still don't know how much long this patch, this fix will take, but as soon as I have that estimation of time, I will give you that figure, all right? Is that fair? Can I call you back at the end of the day with this idea, with this uh, plan? They will say uh, yes or no, right? If they say no, man, I need to know an ETA ASAP right now because this needs to be fixed by tomorrow because tomorrow we have a demo to our end users. Okay, we're talking about like catastrophic scenario right now. But what will you say in that situation? Okay, John, I understand. Okay, so tomorrow you're saying tomorrow you will have a demo. Okay, you're going to demonstrate your product. At what time is that going to happen? It's going to happen at, at noon. Okay, it's going to happen at noon. And I understand the stress that you're feeling. I'm feeling stressed myself. Listen, I'm here to take care of this. And, and we will do whatever it takes to get this solved. Nobody's going home until this is solved. So trust me, we have all hands on board taking care of this problem. And if there's anyone on planet Earth that can solve this, it's us. So let me get back to the team, let me get back to work, and I will call you back with some status about this issue at the end of the day, all right? He will say, yeah, okay, fantastic. And then you go, you work your ass off, and at the end of the day, you'll provide some feedback. Let's say that you already have this solved, okay? What will you say? Hey, John, it's Bruno again. Uh, listen, this took a little longer than we expected. Hey, but hey, good news. We already have this thing solved. It's already tested, and it's ready to roll. Now, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to deploy it right now on your environment, your testing environment, or will you, you know, basically what, what do you want me to do? Tell me, because I'm, I'm ready to roll right now. I'm ready to deploy this thing right now. Your call. They will say, hey man, okay, we'll do this tomorrow, 9 a.m. or whatever the deal is. So before the call ends, hey John, let me just say one thing. Is there anything that we can do for you to make sure that tomorrow's demo works the best for you and your customers. I say, hey Bruno, now that you're mentioning this, uh, maybe if you could do this, this and that, it could really help me be sure that this demo works as expected, okay? And guess what? I will do my best to make sure that I would give him this, this and that, all right? If, in, if it's not possible or if we're doing other things, and of course I, that the question would still be valid. What you would say is, okay, sir, if, if I can do it, I will figure out a way to do it. I will see what I can do, all right? So you'll just say, hey, best effort. I will do my best to, to provide you with those things. So just to be sure is one, two, and three, is that it? Yes, that's it, fantastic. Okay, I will take care of it. As soon as I have this done, I will tell you, or I will let you know, I will reach out to you. And then let's say that you could not deliver those things. You'll say, hey, John, it's Bruno again, man. Hey, I just want to wish you an amazing de demo tomorrow. I tried my best to do one, two, and three, but unfortunately I was not able to. But here's what I could do. I could do this. I could do five and six. Hey, but it, you know, I didn't really ask you for five and six. I know, I understand, but you know, it's just a way for you to, with five and six, you could actually do this thing on the demo, which in our experience, when we do demos, we do that all the time and customers love it. So I understand that we cannot provide one, two, and three, but hey, here's five and six. Hey, Bruno, I appreciate that. Hey, sir, my pleasure. Is there anything else that I can do? No, man, like for now, it's all good. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Let's stay in touch about it. Hey, and by the way, let me know how that demo went, all right? I wanna see how the results that you got from showing the product to your customers. Yeah, for sure, Bruno, thanks. Take care, bye-bye. Yeah, so just, you know, just saying, just, just an example of how you would interact with a customer over the phone, you know, handling some tough situations. Hope that you guys could, you know, benefit from, you know, hearing this um, interaction. Uh, share in the comments below other interactions that you wish that I could cover. So uh, wish you the best customer service. Uh, get yourself trained, record yourself doing this. Uh, replay, get better, and be and be awesome. Basically, you know, go for this attitude of service. Or how can I help? Is there anything else that I can do? Um, 
figure out ways for you to be helpful because you know being helpful matters. Hey, my name is Ruben Cuella. I watch you. Sorry, I will see you. <laughs> watch you is kind of creepy, actually. I will see you on the next video, guys. Take care.